I can hear you. Can you hear me? I'm not having much luck with these speakers. <laughs> you can hear me and you're laughing your head off. I just look like an idiot. Unmute speaker to increase volume. Okay. That sounds like a good start. We can't hear you yet, Diva, but this is Skylar. <laughs> we can't hear a thing. At least you're waving. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Skylar, this happened at the start and Diva thinks I'm an absolute amateur. Oh God, come on. Go in the microphone. This is not testing, so testing, testing. Oh, she's dancing. You like to dance. You two dance. You two dance. <laughs> I'll get this sorted. What is going on? I'm sorry. It should be working. Are we supposed to keep dancing the whole time? <laughs> no, that's a light. Diva, this is great footage for the YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's okay, I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> Nope, nothing. Oh, God. Unmute. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Okay, great. Again, wasn't expecting that. I was just like, let me just take a punt. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Hello. Thank you. I was like, oh my God, do Skylar and I have to dance the whole time because this might be a while. <laughs> a dance off with a marine biologist. I <laughs> The funny thing is, Skyla has, has kept saying, Daddy, am I still going to be chatting to the forensic scientist? And I was like, no, 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 that's what mummy used to do. What? Yeah. So your was, wife used to be a, your partner used to be a forensic, forensic yeah, scientist. I mean, yeah, my forensic. wife, she was a forensic scientist. And what she told me to say to you was that she was going to go down marine biology and she got accepted university but she ended up going into anatomy and forensic science so there's a bit of this i mean it's pretty epic though yeah, oh she yeah pretty yeah. interesting job pretty interesting job but this is skylar so hi skylar hey skylar <laughs> we're a bit scripted here we've got some questions that skylar came up with do you want oh, okay. to go and read your questions I've got one as well. you've got one more do you want to do that one now yeah. i've not heard this one okay god What's your New Year's resolution? <gasps> that is a really good one. So my New Year's resolution is to spend more time in nature and in the ocean. Nice. What's yours? What's yours? Um, mine would probably be um, to stay in the water for five minutes. In the cold? Yeah, in the water. Ooh, that's a good one. I don't think I can do that. It's a challenge over here that we don't often wear wetsuits. So we go in for the sort of cold water immersion and the cold water swimming and things. So that's a good challenge, Kyla. I didn't know that one. I I did do that last year. I think again in like this desperation to get out of London, I was like, I'm just gonna go down to Kent and get in the sea. And I could not do five minutes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's that's a long time. Mm. What about your other ones? So um, first question. Why did Will's t-shirt change color? That is another excellent question. So the ocean, basically, as you go deeper in the ocean, it absorbs the sunlight. And as you heard Will say on the show, sunlight is actually created of, by lots of different colors. So it has red, blue, green, yellow, orange, indigo, and so on. So as the sun goes into the sea, actually some of those colors disappear right they get absorbed by the sea and so the first color to disappear is actually red and so we saw pretty quickly like remember we got into the sea and before you knew it will's shirt was brown and then eventually his shirt went to black and that's because red that red light was the first to disappear and so it meant that we couldn't see red anymore as we went into the deep sea. And then, of course, it was red and then the greens went and then eventually where it's blue, we're left, you're left with blue. But of course, as we go down to the deep sea, not only is other colors changing, but also the light is disappearing. Right. And so we didn't just end up at blue. We ended up at black, pitch black, as you saw. In that submersible when they went down with Will, did you have a question about the toilet? 
<laughs> great question. It's a great question. I'm glad you asked it because actually I forgot to talk about that with your dad. <laughs> because you were dying for seven hours, I was wondering how you go to the toilet. That is a really good question. So you're quite right, right? It's a really small space. There are three of us in there and we're so close, our legs are touching, right? So, and there's no bathroom. So there's no privacy. Um, anything you decide to do, everybody's gonna see, plus the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> so there are three things that you can do. One, you can wear a diaper. You can wear a big adult diaper, which nobody wants to do. <laughs> the second thing is that you can pee or, well, well, let's just talk about number one and number two, okay? You can do a number one into a little contraption, but that requires you to take off most of your clothes as a lady, right? Which again, I don't necessarily want to do. Um, <laughs> And then a number two, you just have to hope and pray. I don't know anybody that's had to ever do a number two in a submersible because I'm pretty sure you would never have any friends after that yeah. or dignity. Um, <laughs> and then the third thing you can do, which is what I do and which is what Will did, is that we dehydrate ourselves. So we got into the submersible around probably 9 or 10 a.m. And from the night before around 6 p.m. we just stopped drinking completely so you even if you're thirsty you don't drink anything and that prevents you from having to go to the bathroom it's it's like it's funny because will was obviously afraid about going down into the into the deep yeah. sea because it's it, because it it's scary right but actually he also said to me and this is my biggest fear is what if i have to go to the bathroom that's another legitimate fear yeah yeah scary thing What's next? What that one? Um, how deep can dolphins dive? Oh, oh my gosh. I don't know that off the top of my head, um, but actually deeper than you'd think. And there are lots of animals that we tend to think of that live in the shallow ocean, like turtles, dolphins, um, seals, uh, walrus, and a lot of whale species that actually can dive a lot deeper than you real than most people realize. So for instance, sperm whales that you would have seen in episode one, they can go down to about two kilometers depth, which is a lot. There are some species of whales that can go even deeper down to about three kilometers depth. And then like things like um, turtles, leatherback turtles, or uh, you know, tuna and so on, those can go down to like nearly a kilometer. So there are a lot of animals. They don't just bob around at the top. They actually go down, deep down, multiple times a day, looking for food or whatever else they might do down there. I'm not sure. Dolphins, I think that's ah. your favorite, favorite animal. So I will look that up after, though. Dolphins, I'm not sure. I'll see if I can figure out while we're, while we're chit-chatting. <laughs> don't worry. Tell don't me what else. <laughs> do this one the last one. OK. Okay. Tell me. What can I do now to be a to to be a marine biologist? That is another really great question. So there are definitely a couple things. Um, so to be a marine biologist specifically, I mean, one of the things you definitely have to do is go to school and study hard. Um, you got you just got to get that like learning basically all of that teaching about the planet and the biology and the ocean all of that is really important um but you know there are a lot of other things that are really that are just really fascinating and there are opportunities that i never used to have for instance so like the internet is just filled with opportunities so there's one of my favorite and obviously i'm biased because i love the deep sea but there are a couple ships deep sea ships well research ships that go out into the ocean and then stream their dives live from the bottom of the ocean. So you could be sitting in your home just outside of Edinburgh, but watching live footage from, let's say, the Mariana Trench at four kilometers deep. And you're seeing all of that exploration that those scientists are seeing for the first time as they're seeing it. 
and you're hearing them describing what they're seeing. And it's just a really fascinating tool. It's like the, it's like the coolest TV, right? Because you're seeing all these animals you've never seen before and making all these discoveries along with the scientists. And you can actually submit questions to the scientists that they'll answer while they're listening to you. Yeah. So I'm not, I don't think any of them are diving right now, but those are called the, the Nautilus is one of the ships. The Okeanos Explorer is one of the ships and the Falcor is one of the ships. And yeah, it's just a really cool thing to do to be able to experience a part of the ocean that probably until that point, no one has seen before. So you'll be in that group of people watching the discoveries being made. How about that? Good. Pretty good. End of the question. <laughs> um, one more. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, what's the biggest animal in the in the ocean? Ooh, what do you think the biggest animal is in the ocean? Maybe a humpback whale? Ooh, that's close. So you're very close. It's definitely a whale is the biggest one. But actually, there's one even bigger than the humpback whale, and that's called the blue whale. And it's actually the largest animal to ever have lived on planet Earth and it's still alive today. So ask dad and he will show you some amazing footage of blue whales. I saw some the other day from a drone where the blue whale passes below this boat and it just is absolutely amazing. It's a, it's a massive, massive whale. I've never seen one. So that's definitely like a bucket list. We'll find that footage, but I think sort of one of our goals, at least this year and for years to come is to travel more now that COVID hopefully starts relaxing and uh, borders start opening so fingers crossed we can uh, we can take this podcast around the world and, and go and meet interesting people and see see the wildlife isn't that right yeah awesome well done Our plan- that was amazing thank you Skyla does she know the bucket list family do, do you know who the bucket list family are no no they're, they... they're, they're a family they're online they're a family that travel the world and do do really cool things bucket and... list things oh cool things. that sounds Skyla's, amazing yeah i was a big fan big fan of them aren't yeah. you awesome okay. well diva thank you well so you much. have to make your own bucket list skyla so that you can yeah. do that we will no thank you for your wonderful questions thanks for having me <laughs> <laughs> thank you for having me <laughs> Diva, I really appreciate it. I'll, I'll, um, I'll chop all the, the podcast up in this chat and we'll do the, I'll put it at YouTube and do all the bits and pieces. But, but thank you so much. I mean, it's really, really kind of you to come on the show. My absolute pleasure. Just let Maddie, Maddie know when it's going to air and um, I'll help publicise it. And yeah, thank you so much for having me. This has been really fun. Okay, take care and have a great year, okay? All righty. Thank Bye-bye. you. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. 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 That was really good. I really like that. Well done, you.